Good morning to one and all. On behalf of the Reading Week, I, Arthra Shimjit of 6th A, was ready here to present a short story which influenced me a lot. Friends, first of all, let me share with you the importance of reading short stories. The first point is, it is certain that you will read the entire story. We will experience a pleasure of finishing the story. It helps us to bring back the habit of reading us daily. It motivates us to read the next story. Now friends, please listen to the story. This traditional story is all about using your talents to help others. Which talent has been used here? Watch and find out. The magic paintbrush. Rose loved drawing, but she was so poor that she didn't have pen or pencil. She drew pictures in sand with sticks. One day, an old woman saw Rose and said, Hello, here is a paintbrush and some papers for you. Rose smiled and said, Thank you. She was so happy. Mm, what will I paint? She looked around and saw a duck on the pond. Yes, I know, I will paint a duck. So she did. Suddenly, the duck flew off from the paper onto the pond. Wow, she said. A magic paintbrush? Rose was a kind girl. She painted pictures for everyone in the village. She painted a cow for the farmer, some pencils for the teacher and toys for all the children. The king heard about the magic paintbrush and sent his soldiers to find Rose. Soldier said, Come with me. The king wants you to pay some money for him. But he's already so rich, said Rose. I only paint for poor people. But the nasty soldier took Rose to the king. Paint me a tree with lots of money on it, the king shouted. Rose was brave and said, no. The king sent her to the prison. Rose painted a key to open the door and a horse to help her escape. The king chased after her. Rose painted a big hole and splat. The king fell in. Today, Rose uses her magic paintbrush to help people who really, really need help. Thank you and have a nice day.